Well, school starts on Monday in Worcester, and they've managed to do something many districts struggle to do, and that is fill all bus driver positions before classes begin. New Center 5's Jennifer Egan went to Worcester to find out how they did it. Worcester Public School driver Jennifer O'Connor shines up her bus. A clean bus is a happy bus. <laughs> Other drivers are working out their routes. Take the right on Blackstone and Blackstone. For the first year ever, the district has been able to fill all of their positions, 221 drivers total. We took busing in-house about three years ago, which allowed us to work with the EAW, which is their teachers' union, and our bus drivers were now part of the teachers' union. Director of Transportation Michael Freeman explains the school system dropped the vendor they used and guaranteed drivers 30 hours a week, making them full-time city employees. Which gives them the uh, benefit to be into their health insurance and retirement. They're paid a little over $31 an hour, making it a desirable switch for people like Howard Connerly, who left another transportation job to drive students instead. I'm going to greet him with a smile and I'm going to make their day. The only way to get out of a school bus shortage for drivers is to train new people. Otherwise, we're just going to keep stealing them from each other and we're never going to get out of it. We have uh, GPS, we have student counts, we have four different cameras. The fleet is new with technology focused on keeping kids safe. Buses have collision mitigation. If it identifies an object in front of the bus, the bus will stop. We have these drop down chains. So in the winter time, if a bus starts sliding, these chains will drop down and spin and give the bus traction to keep moving. Freeman says bringing busing in-house saves the district $5 million a year, but admits it may not be the best route for every community. We were planning, I think, seven years meeting every single week before we actually took the initiative of taking it in-house and making it a possibility. This school year, 12,000 students will ride these buses to school. Another 12,000 don't qualify for a seat on the bus. Worcester has a strict policy. Students who live within two miles of their school have to walk or get a ride. Expanding the bus fleet has been brought up by the school committee. In Worcester, Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center 5. All right, and there is still